We are all in need of the salvation of the Lord. Yet you have to be willing to repent. You got to be willing to humble yourself. You got to be willing to turn away from the rebellious life that you are living and come to God and say, Lord, have mercy on me. Turn away from the sin. The Bible says that let those who name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. That means you got to make a departure from the darkness. That means you got to pick up a Bible and stop living in the world. That means you got to come to God and humble yourself and obey the Lord. The Bible says that if you are to love God, you are to obey Him. You have a lot of people out here, they will say they believe in God, yet they live in, in sin. And they are living in self-deception. The Bible says, be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourself. And this is the world we live in. We live in a world of deception where the creation has amused the minds of those that God has created. And they are amused with the creation and they reject the creator who sends his son to die for their sins. And at the end of their life, you're going to be in big trouble with God. You have a short period of time to come to God to believe, yet you have to be willing to repent. That means you gotta turn away from the alcohol. That means you gotta stop being a drunkard, sir. That means you gotta turn to God and really get right with the Lord. Because if not, you're gonna go to hell, sir. And God don't want you to go to hell. But if you go to hell, that's your own fault. If you go to hell, sir, that's your own fault. You can't say that it's God's fault because God's sending you a preacher, but you want the darkness, sir. That's why you are laughing and you're carrying on with your liquor in your hand. You want the darkness and you don't want the light. And this is what the Bible says. It says, this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world, but men, they love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. And this is why men don't come to God is because they like the darkness. They love the drunkenness. They want to get drunk and they want to live for themselves. They want to smoke their weed. They want to live in accordance with the things of this world. And that's why people are going to hell. People love the darkness and they don't like the light. They don't want to come to God because they love sin. So they don't read the Bible. They run from God like the drug dealers run from the police. Because the drug dealer knows that he's committing a crime. And when he sees the cops, he goes in all the way. And that's the same thing the rebellious sinner does when they hear the preaching of God's word. They don't want God. They know that they are in rebellion. They love the darkness. They don't want God, so they go the other way. They make excuses of why they don't come to God, and at the end of their life, they die, and they go to hell. Yet, you don't have to go to hell. You don't have to be judged by your because of your sins. You can come to the Lord, and you can humble yourself, and you can lay hold of this precious gift of salvation, but you got to repent. you got to turn to God. The Bible says that God has sent His salvation for all men, that we can all come to the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yet, you have to make a choice and choose what you're going to do with your life. Are you going to continue living on in your rebellion, living a God-hating, God-rejecting life, or are you going to come to Jesus? Are you going to humble yourself? For God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge the world in righteousness through his son, Jesus Christ.